What's up guys, I'm Elliot Delft and today I'm going to be doing a review on one of my favorite scopes that I own. It's the Vortex Crossfire 2 4x12x44 second focal plane rifle scope. This scope is the first Vortex that I've owned and honestly it's been fantastic. I picked it up at Dick's Sporting Goods for like 160 bucks and it has served me great. I have had no problems with the scope whatsoever. Now, let me tell you a little bit about this scope and what it comes with. So, here's the box. Um, the box is a little misleading. These Vortex scopes, it says it's pictured the 4 by 12 by 40 but it came with the 4 by 12 by 44 and it shows a uh, shows a focusing ring at the end. Very misleading, but it's, it's whatever. It's fine. Um, this scope does not have a focusing ring. It, well, I mean, it does. It focuses back here. But it doesn't focus in the front. So, yeah. But what came with it, it came with some lens covers, which are really nice. I like to keep them on. I'd really like some flip-ups, but the Vortex flip-ups are incredibly expensive. They're like 40 or 50 bucks. Just outrageous. And it came with this scope, I guess, cleaning wrap? I don't know. When I put my rifle in the case, I just drape this over top of it to keep it safe and whatnot. Not that my case is not safe, it just, well, it just looks better on it. And I'll wipe it down with it whatnot. But anyway, little cloth, really nice to have, which is pretty cool. Yep. So now that I've talked a little bit about this rifle, or not about this rifle, I keep my Vortex on my Grendel. They're both my babies. But anyway, now that I've talked a little bit about this scope, let me flip the camera angle so you can see it up close. Alright guys, so here is the Vortex in all of its glory. Um, up here, you, you can see we have a little Vortex cap cover. Oh gosh, sucker's tough to turn. It does in a quarter MOA adjustments, clicks up, down, pretty simple, you know. Um, they don't pop up, they don't do anything special. This is one of Vortex, I guess, budget scopes. It's not very expensive, it's not a Viper or a Razor, all those other brands, or not other brands, but other lines. And then the side does the exact same thing. Pops up quarter MOA. Uh, it pops up quarter MOA adjustments, and as you can see, left and right turns. Yep, it's it's pretty nice. There's not a lot of fanciness to the scope. It just does its purpose and it does it well. Um, let me show you guys the reticle inside of it. Alright guys, so there you go, there's the reticle inside of it, just dashed in MOA, so it's pretty nice, it's not a crazy reticle, but it works, and like I said, this is a second focal plane scope, so as I adjust how far I zoom in, it doesn't really affect, or it doesn't affect at all the size of the reticle, whereas the first focal plane scope would affect the size of the reticle. Alright guys, well, as you can see, the Vortex is a pretty sweet scope. I've done a lot of shooting with it. And I've probably shot this gun well over 300 times. And I've never had a problem with the scope. I've sighted it in once and just have had amazing experiences with it. So I definitely recommend the Vortex. And I definitely recommend the Crossfire if you're balling on a budget like me. Now, guys, if you want to pick this scope up, you can find it in a link in the description below. It'll send you the Amazon link and you can pick this exact same scope up and it'll be great. And I promise you, you won't have any problems with it. Now, if you do have any problems with it, Vortex has an awesome, and I mean awesome warranty. Send it back for whatever reason, and they will make it right. So, that's all I really got to say, guys. I couldn't give this scope enough praise. But anyway, subscribe, leave a comment, and tell me what your experiences with Vortex are. Have you had bad experiences with Vortex? Have you ever had any problems with the scope and they not fix it? Or Tell me about it. Let me know down in the comment section below. And remember, take someone outdoors.